We're Adam and Joanne from InspiredTaste.net, and welcome to our kitchen. Making your own fabulous bowl of Vietnamese pho soup at home is not hard. All you need is a straightforward recipe, a few secrets, and a nice big stock pot. The broth starts with bones. We like to use beef knuckles or leg bones for this. Add them to a big stock pot, then cover with cold water. Place that onto high heat and bring to a boil. You want to boil for about five minutes. You'll notice a foam or scum will rise to the top. So drain the entire stock pot and rinse the bones. This gets rid of all of that scum. You want to rinse the stock pot too. Place the bones back into the pot and set aside for later. Now grab two medium onions and quarter them. You can leave the skins on. Then, grab a four inch piece of ginger and cut it in half lengthwise. Arrange everything on a baking sheet. Turn your oven broiler to high, then slide it under and broil for 10 to 15 minutes, turning occasionally, or until the onions and ginger have charred or browned on all sides. Now for the spices. Add one tablespoon of coriander seeds, one tablespoon of fennel, about six cloves, six star anise, two cinnamon sticks, and one black cardamom pod to a pan. Put it over low heat and toast for just about five minutes until fragrant. Add the spices to some cheesecloth, then tie with some butcher's twine and set aside. Next, you'll need to measure out a quarter cup of fish sauce, one and a half tablespoons of salt, and you'll need a one inch piece of yellow rock candy, something you can find at Asian markets. Now that we have everything ready, we can start the broth. Add six quarts of cold water to the bones from earlier. Bring to a boil, then if any of that scum comes to the top, just use a spoon or fine mesh strainer to remove it. Now just reduce to a gentle simmer and add your fish sauce, the salt, the sachet of spices, rock candy, and then the ginger and onions from earlier. Now, just cook the broth at a gentle simmer for about three hours. Once the broth is done, we want to strain it. So first remove any of the bones, onion, and ginger from the pot. Then pour the broth through a fine mesh strainer into a clean bowl. You'll notice quite a bit of fat will rise to the top of the broth. To remove it, just use a fine mesh strainer or spoon. Another option is to actually pour the broth into a container and refrigerate overnight. We prefer this since you can really get rid of most of the fat. It solidifies on the top and is easily removed. Now we can make our bowls of pho. Bring the broth to a simmer, grab some bowls, then add very thinly sliced raw beef to the bowls. Bring a pot of water to a boil, then cook your noodles. Add the cooked noodles to your bowls, then cover with hot broth. Serve your soup with a selection of fresh herbs, bean sprouts, lime wedges, thinly sliced onions, chili sauce, fish sauce, or anything else you love. Enjoy! For more pho secrets and to see our full recipe, visit us at inspiredtaste.net.